This is Everybody Wants to Rule the World, Cello 5. This is a really fun, fast piece. I'm sorry it's so fast. But, Cello 5, you've got these knocks that are really important. And the whole tune starts on an empty measure, so it's one, two, three. And then the next measure is measure two, measure three, measure four, measure five, two. Or, or, and that may be the easiest one actually is to like hold your, hold your hand, keep your bow in your hand, dampen the strings with your right hand, just cover the strings and then, and then, so practice that with your left hand. May not be your dominant hand. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Could you could also. Any sound is probably okay, I think. Okay. So you have da 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 da. One, two, three. Okay, and that's how I've got that uh, labeled here to happen. So you're on beat four, uh, pickups to beat four. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Now I'm using that G string harmonic. Such a great trick. All those fourth fingers on the D, A, and the G string have harmonic in-tune equivalents on the string below it. We'll go up, down, up, down, up, down. So measure six would be one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, and two, and three, and four, and one. That's measure ten now. And I probably should have talked about at the beginning, twelve, eight, twelve beats per measure, and the eighth note gets the beat. So these are eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we count it like in four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's a fast tune. Measure ten. Here, let's play it together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Measure ten. Here, let's play it together. So one, two, that's the empty measure. We come in with our first finger. A. One. A happens on three, not on four. It's usually one, four, seven, ten. One, four, seven, ten is what usually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six. I put a four there. Don't ask me why. So if you have a four on your part, change that to a one. That was, something's wrong. Hmm. Okay, keep moving. That's really something you have to get down. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. up and saying six and six over again so from ten together here's eleven together one two three four one, two. pretty good at you're playing the low range that bass line so you could play this low D from, from 18 all right 24 just like you had on this at the beginning. So it starts with an open C. And feel the beat. 
it's not, well, I'll show you. 28, you can stay on that. And it's kind of nice, you can add another note here. Play it as a double stop, it can be kind of rough. Which is that G that you played early with this open C at 28. Same rhythm, even though it slips a little tight. Fourth and eight, rhythm. One, two, three, four. Two, two, four. Two, four. If it looks different, it's the same darn thing. I don't really know. Maybe I did mean for us to stop it there. Don't worry about it, though. It's the same rhythm at 68.
hard to fade out an open C string. Anyway, good job. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for enjoying this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.